Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Funko Pop challenges? Hey, nerdlings! Linda, aka the Gamer Girl, here, and the real question is: Do you nerd for Tom and Lacey? This is Tom and Lacey collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding. Comic book, tables, house, Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Welcome to Lady Lacey's Toy Room. Actually, do you have an official name for the toy room? I yet? have never figured out an official uh, we're name. We're going to have to think of something really it's good. It's just called the Collections Room. <laughs> Now, we are in here today because we were tagged by our buddy over at Infinity 8 Gaming to do another Funko Pop Challenge. Um, do you nerd? I know these guys have got, they're mostly into gaming and going to events and all kinds of awesome stuff that they can do there in the, the States, but uh, they do have a couple of awesome Funko Pops, so I'd like to see what they actually say is their favorite three. So definitely going challenge going out to them. If you guys have not checked out his channel, you definitely need to, especially if you were into Funko Pops. He's got so many, and what you see in the video apparently is nothing compared no. to the rest of his collection. <laughs> uh, but a lot, a lot of awesome stuff there. Plus, he's always talking about Funko Pops and Chase figures and variants that I never even knew existed. Yeah. And it's like, I'm glad you're the crazy one going after all <laughs> those because I don't think I could keep up. The only thing that drives me nuts is he leaves them in the box. You can't <laughs> see them. Although it does make it a lot easier for them to stack up behind him. Hey! Watch it! Don't drop that there! Oh. This Funko challenge was <laughs> easy because all it is is choosing three of your favorite Funko figures and telling why they're your favorites. <laughs> but it's not easy because how do you narrow it down? No, especially for me because I'm not a collector to collect them. I only get what I like. I'm not a completionist. It does make it very so hard. So they're all ones that she likes. They're all her Pretty favorites. Pretty much, yeah. Well, ladies first, what's one of your favorites? Well, one of my favorites would be, and this is again in no particular order, would be Mr. Newt Scamander. And the actual reason that I like him, there's no offense, Newt, but there's not really anything special about this figure, except for the fact that he comes with this tiny little bow truckle. And he was the hardest thing to find. I saw him one time, I believe he was a GameStop exclusive. And I saw it one time when it first came out and then it disappeared. And I think you eventually found him for me. That's the main reason I love him because he comes with, obviously not to scale because bow truckles are like tiny, but that little tiny bow truckle is why I wanted this one. Why don't you show us one of your favorites? Well, one of my favorites is Ash from the Evil Dead and Army of Darkness movies, TV show, comics, <laughs> franchise. I'm not really going to linger on him because I actually used him for the other Funko challenge, the Species challenge, but I love the character Ash so much. And I don't, I go after Funko Pops even less than she does. Yeah. But there are very, very few exceptions that I absolutely have to have, totally had to have Mr. Williams. Groovy. I feel like he would like attack this little guy thinking he was a deadite. <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> like, hello, you're um, adorable. I'm I'm pretty sure Ash and uh, evil trees and plants, they have a history. <laughs> All right, your next favorite. My next favorite. This is kind of a weird one for me because I n am no way a fan of Mary Jane. I do like the Spider-Man series and everything, but you know, I could take or leave Mary Jane. But I got this one, and it's from the video game series, the new one, simply because it's just freaking adorable. First of all, Mary Jane and I have, you know, we've got the red hair thing going, but I love her little freckles on her face, and, you know, she's got her little camera. She's just normal looking, but she's holding a stuffed Spider-Man, and there was just something about that that I just thought was so hilarious. She's... She's got her own little Spider-Man to carry around with her everywhere she goes. So that's why I absolutely just love this Funko figure. Just because of, you know, the little stuff Spider-Man she's carrying. Number two for me is going to be Nami from One Piece. And honestly, the only reason I got this is because Nami always makes me think of her. Uh, of course, there's that red hair, but the uh, attitude... Maybe just a I little bit. I don't know bit. what you're talking about. <laughs> but this is a fun figure. You know, she's got her bikini top on and her jeans. And she's got her staff. But 
I mean, she's just too cute, and already Ash, I think, is making googly eyes at her. Since it was so tough, you had a couple of honorable mentions. I do have a couple of honorable mentions. My first honorable mention would have to be Catwoman from Batman The Dark Knight Rises. This actually was my very first Funko Pop I ever got, and I saw her actually at GameStop. I never really paid attention to Funko Pop before, thought it was super duper cute, and you went out and got her for me because I liked her so much. And it kind of, it was one of those things looking at her more and more, I was like, you know what? Funkos are kind of cute. I might start collecting those things. And then it just snowballed from there. Yeah, I think at that time, it almost felt like you could go out and get all of them. Because yeah. all the places that we went to, it seemed like they had the same ones every yeah, time. Yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot of exclusives. And Funko was in its infancy. So there wasn't like everything was a Funko Pop. It was very, you know, a small niche market. So it was, it was kind of neat to find something as a Funko. Now I feel like anything you like or want, there's a Funko. Real Funko. If, <laughs> if it exists, there's a Funko <laughs> there's of it. There's a Funko of it. My other honorable mention, because I have shown this one off in a video before, so I didn't want to just pick it as a favorite, although it's one of my favorites, is my Spider-Gwen. Now this actually kicked off my love of Spider-Gwen, and now I can honestly say she's probably one of my most favorite character ever is Spider-Gwen. And I actually bought a lot of Spider-Gwen and Gwenpool, and I was like, you know what? I don't know who Spider-Gwen is, don't really care. I'll sell her, because all I wanted was this, the Gwenpool. But then I ended up falling in love with her and overruled my love of Gwenpool and now that's she's my absolute most favorite character. So I thank this Funko Pop to death because she gave me my love of Spider-Gwen. <laughs> Again, I don't really collect a whole lot of Funko Pops. It's, it's very few and far between the ones I go after. So I don't have any honorable mentions. So I'm going to bounce it right back to you for your number one. Not that it's in any order. Right, my number favorite. one, but not in any <laughs> special order, would be Mera from the Aquaman movie, because I do also have Mera from the Justice League. I just, I love this outfit that she's wearing. I love the crown. It's a little bit more subdued than the one that she was wearing in, in the Justice League. And she's one of my favorite characters. I discovered her actually from the Justice League movies and looked into her and realized she was a really fun character to actually, you know, read about. And I've actually been enjoying reading some of the Aquamans because of her. Yeah, that's right. Kind of like with Spider-Gwen, another example of a Funko Pop starting you down a fandom of comics because mm -hmm. you started to pick up a lot of the Aquaman comics just because they starred Mara in them. Uh -huh. And then, of course, you got her own series when it came she out. She did, yes. So, yeah, Funko Pop getting you into things you never knew you were going to love. What's your last one? Well, just like her, not in any particular order. Uh, I just kind of picked out three that I really love. I adore this little figure of Elizabeth from Bioshock She's Infinite. one of my favorites too. I love her. I love that she's got this little vigor in her hands right there. And the dress that she's wearing, I remember this was the dress that even though she's barely in it in the game this was the iconic yeah that was outfit. the iconic one everyone cosplayed in it and i also really like this one because her blue bottle is actually a clear blue bottle so yeah that was a nice touch so that was a really cool touch and of course one of the best things about having her is when you've got these guys you kind of got the whole set <laughs> Once again, thank you, Infinity8, for tagging us. Uh, it's always fun to kind of go through the collection and try to parse out who's going to make that list of, of the favorites and everything, and also just to revisit, because I know mm -hmm. that you had the hardest time this scaling it This was a it down. lot harder than the last challenge, because that one was easy, because it was like, you know, picking out species and robots and stuff like that. So that was kind of easy. So it's like, oh yeah, that kind of helps narrow things down a bit. But yeah, this one, this one was hard. <laughs> well, nerdlings... I am going to link to that species challenge video that we did. I am also going to link to Infinity 8's top three favorites so you can see his favorites. And this is a tag video. Now, something that we always like to do is kind of toss out an open tag to anybody who mm -hmm. wants to show us their top three favorite Funkos. We would love to see that. So we tag you. Now, I do have a couple of more specific ones that I did want to shout out. Rich over at Big Enzy, I know that you have tons of Funko. Definitely want to see what you would pick as your top three faves. Amatea is another one, a great Funko collector. I know that she's got some cool Funkos in there, but can she pick out only three to be her favorites? 
e even if a couple of honorable mentions slip in there. <laughs> and of course, it's Funko time. I want to see some of your Funko faves. You know, can you pick just three? Or are you going to toss a few more in there? Again, nerdlings, drop a like for any of the Funkos here. Leave some comments about what you think of these. Or if you don't want to respond, just tell us in the comments who yeah. your favorite Funkos are. And subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Check out these other channels as well. Plus, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, we nerd it for, for Funko. Funko. Isn't that right, Mary Jane? Look, she agrees. I got a different kind of bouncing going on over here. Don't, don't look, Bo Chuckle, don't look. You know, actually, this one's my favorite Funko. She's so big and squishy. I love you. Wow. <laughs> Be very, very careful editing this, Tom. Do not let any of this stuff get out there. <sighs> Calm down, too much excitement. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Like, what? I can't hear you. It's like I'm literally shouting into your ear canal. Okay. Anyway, guys, hit a like. <clears throat> hit a like. <laughs> Just any one of them. Pick a video and hit the like button. <laughs>